Stop. Caution, guys. We're entering a new chapter. Chapter 10. Here we go. You guys should have this new note packet. Uh, chapter 10. It's about polygons, which are shapes. Because we're in geometry, you know. Um, we're going to start with 10.1. Naming polygons. And here we go. Okay, guys, we're starting a new chapter. Chapter 10, naming polygons. So a polygon is a closed figure in a plane formed by segments called sides. A polygon is named by the number of its sides or angles. So number of sides, try. The polygon would be called a triangle. Four, quadra, quadrilateral. We've done a lot with triangles and quadrilaterals. We know triangles have three sides, quadrilaterals have four. Next is penta, five sides, pentagon. Hexa, six sides, hexagon. Hepta, seven sides, heptagon. Octa, eight sides, octagon. Nana, nine, nonagon. And deca, ten sides, decagon. Okay? So down here we have some terminology. A vertex is the point of intersection of two sides. Vertex, 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 vertex. Vertex. Okay? Get a different color. Get a couple different colors because I have like a couple different words. A segment whose endpoints are non-consecutive, meaning not next to, vertices is a diagonal. So, that's a diagonal, that's a diagonal, that's a diagonal, that's a diagonal, that's a diagonal. Okay, those are all diagonals. Color code this. Consecutive vertices means they are next to. <clears throat> I'm going to go back over here and do non-consecutive means not next to. Okay? And lastly, sides that share a vertex are called consecutive sides, meaning... They are next to each other. Okay? All right. A regular polygon is both equilateral, meaning equal sides, and equiangular, meaning equal angles. Okay? So this rhombus here is equilateral but not equal angular. These angles are not the same. This one, two, three, four, five, six, that is a hexagon, is equal angular. All the angles are equal, but the sides are not. And this one, this triangle, is regular. All sides are equal and all angles are equal. Okay? Alright. Now we're going to take what we learned and apply it. Use the figure below to answer the following questions. Identify polygon LMNOPQRS by its sides. I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know eight octa, eight sides, octagon. So this is in... Oops, can't spell. Octagon. Because it has eight sides. So I'm going to write this for myself and so you guys can see and remember. Okay? Determine whether the polygon appears to be regular or not regular. So, if we remember for something to be a regular polygon, it needs equal sides and equal angles. If we go back and look at our shape, and I label our angles, our 
Are all these angles the same? Whoops, not even looking at the right thing. There you go. Label the angles. Sorry about that. These angles are not the same. So it is not equal angular, which means, right, whoever said that, it's not regular because not oops, equal angular. All right, and now we need to name two non-consecutive, which means not next to sides of this shape. So I'm going to turn back to my picture. I'm going to say that MN and OP and SR and LM. So I'm going to do MN and OP and SR and LM. Like that. Oops. Side. Make sure we label. All right. Now this next point, you can use the properties of regular polygons to find the perimeter. Again, we know that regular polygons have equal sides and equal angles. Okay, so for example, the perimeter of a regular polygon equals the number of sides times the length of each side. So in this example, an octagon, eight sides, each side is 7.6. Multiply those and we get 60.8 centimeters. All right, so now we're gonna try our own. Try to keep this in the view so you can see it. Find the perimeter of a regular decagon, which is 10 sides, whose sides are 12 feet long, 10, times 12, 120 feet is the perimeter. Alrighty. That one's pretty easy. Alright. A polygon can also be classified as convex or Concave. In a convex, if all diagonals lie in the interior of the figure, then the polygon is convex. See these? Are inside the shape. For concave, if any part of a diagonal lies outside of the figure, then the polygon is concave. This diagonal falls outside of the shape, so this shape would be concave. So number three wants us to classify polygon STUVW as being convex or concave. So I'm going to draw in all of my diagonals. And remember, diagonals are only um, connected vertices from non-consecutive vertexes. So all of my diagonals are here. They fall inside of the shape, so I know that this is a convex polygon. And furthermore, one, two, three, four, five sides, it's a pentagon. Whoop, whoop. All right, two more. It wants us to classify the polygon as convex or concave. I'm going to make Connect some of these. Oh, I can stop because I just see that this one diagonal is outside of our shape, which means this is a concave polygon. Right? One of the diagonals is outside of the shape, so I know. And I know that these two vertices are non-consecutive, so I would try to connect them, and I realize that they're outside, so it's concave. All right, 
The next one, determine whether each figure is a polygon, right? Yes or no? If no, explain why not. This one, no. There's a curve. Curve's not a side. So there's a curve in this shape, so it is not a polygon. This one, I'm going to say no. Whoops. There's an opening. We remember <coughs> polygons are closed figures. There's a big gap right there, so this is not a polygon. All right, guys, that's it for naming polygons. Next time, we're going to do angles of polygons. And before that, we're going to do a zoom to go over your homework for this chapter section 10.1. And we will see you on our next zoom. Please have your homework done. Peace out. Bye.